Hi, I'm Dave Weber, and in this episode, we're going to be having a bonus lecture on method number one. We're going to specifically be talking about lens mount adapters with built-in filters. I could have caused, called this episode the amazing evolution of lens filters. The history of lens filters can be divided into three different eras. The first era was when we shot with film. In this era, we used all of these types of filters. Then, in around 2000, we went into what I call the early digital era, where we got rid of over half of the filters we used during the film era, and now we primarily only use polarizing filters and neutral density filters because all of these other special effects could be uh, performed in post-processing. And now we're embarking in a new era of filters. And it's an era where adapters are taking the place of filters that screw on to the front of the lens. These adapters have built-in filters right into them. Now, we're going to talk about three types of adapters with built-in uh, filters today. All three were provided by a company called Photodeox, uh, and they make over 25% of all adapters in the world. And all of these three adapters are quite unique, and they all cost around $100. The first one we're gonna look at has a built-in polarizing filter. And this one is called the Polar Throttle, Photodeox Polar Throttle. And their built-in filter, built-in polarizing filter, works just like a traditional filter that screws on the front of a lens. You turn it and you can increase or decrease the amount of polarization. Here's a couple of photos I took with it, and as you can see, it does a very good job of polarizing reflective surfaces like the glass in this photo. The second type of innovative adapter with built-in filters is this one. This one is called the uh, Photodeox Pro Stretch uh, uh, Adapter and they have three different little neutral density filters and they drop in the back just like that and they're magnetized so they don't fall out and these three different neutral density filters have strengths of four eight and 16 stops they make this for fuji x cameras sony e cameras and micro four-thirds cameras. The images are very nice, but there's a couple of minor problems that I have with this design. First of all, in order to change the filters, you have to remove the adapter from the camera, and if you're outside, that could expose the sensor of your camera to dust. And secondly, the way that they tell you to get this filter out is to bang it, on the palm of your hand like this. And sometimes it takes multiple bangs to get the magnetic filter out. And I could see the filter getting greasy from your hands or maybe even, even falling to the ground. Now, there is another company that makes uh, a adapter with drop-in filters. Actually, uh, they're not drop-in filters. They kind of slide in from the side. And that company is Canon, and the filters are made by a high-end filter manufacturer called Breakthrough Photography. And I've uh, posted a couple of links to uh, the Breakthrough Photography filters, drop-in filters, and this Canon adapter in the resources section at the end of this episode. You might like their design a little bit better than the Photo Deox one with the magnet on the end. The third type of adapter with built-in filters is this one. 
This is, again, a photodeox product, and it's called the Neutral Density Throttle, or ND Throttle. And basically what it is, is it's an adapter, and you rotate the ring, and you have a built-in variable neutral density filter in it. And as you can see, it's getting lighter, and it's getting darker, just like a variable neutral density filter that you would screw onto the front of your lens. I've tried this and it works great. This might be my favorite adapter with a built-in um, filter. It works great and here are all of the different cameras that Photodeox makes this filter, uh, variable neutral density uh, filter for, and as you can see, it's, it's quite a wide range of, of cameras. Probably you see your camera on there. There is some competition, and uh, Canon, again, makes a uh, adapter with a built-in variable neutral density filter, very similar to this one. But Canon's costs about $400, and this one's around $80. So uh, if you're interested in the Canon one, uh, check it out. I've also posted a link to that one in the resources section at the end of this episode. Now, some of you might be wondering, uh, what are the advantages of these? How do they compare to a standard screw-on type of filter? Well, I put together this chart to help you determine which is best for you. And these are all the characteristics of a filter. And basically, the traditional filters that screw on the front of your lens only have one advantage over built-in filters, and that is they protect the front, front element of the lens. All of the other check marks go to the built-in uh, filters. They're better for wide angles, they're faster, they weigh less, they're easier to clean, uh, there's no X shadowing uh, on wide angle lenses, uh, you won't forget them because they're always there, one size fits all, and they'll work if you have damaged threads on the front of your lens. So a lot of advantages to using a built-in filter. Um, one thing I'd like to point out that you may not realize is all of these photodeox adapters with built-in filters, the filters themselves are made out of optical resin. They're not made out of optical glass. And over the years, I, I have had some filters that were made from resin, optical resin, like this one. And they're, they're just fine. They do a great job of filtering. The only problem with optical resin filters is, you guessed it, they scratch very easily. Now, Photodeox tells me that they are upgrading, in the process of upgrading, all of their adapters with built-in filters to optical glass. So optical glass in their fil built-in filters will be available in the future. Uh, make sure you, you ask your retailer before you buy one if it's optical glass or optical resin. Overall, what are my feelings about these new types of adapters with built-in filters? I kind of think they're the future. They're really handy, they're convenient, they work fine, they've got a lot of advantages. But right now, I, I guess for my most critical work, I'm gonna continue to use my optical glass filters that screw onto the front of my lenses. But I think in the future we're going to see more manufacturers making adapters with terrific built-in filters. There's going to be more selection, more manufacturers doing it, and there's going to be uh, better quality uh, built-in filters, you might say. So I can't wait, and I think the future looks really bright for these innovative adapters 
with built-in filters.